Well, prophecy. I pray in America in Tuesday, in Wednesday, I see shooting. I pray in Jesus. It's art. New video tonight showing the beginning, middle, and end of the attack on the Capitol. It had police grossly outnumbered. They're leaving. They're leaving. And running out of options. Capitol Police officers step aside. Leading up to the shooting of one of the rioters, Ashley Babbitt. Every image providing leads for investigators. Today, arrested, Richard Barnett, who was gleefully posing for photos with his feet on Nancy Pelosi's desk, and later showing off an envelope from Pelosi's office. Today, he was booked into jail, charged with violent entry and theft. Also arrested West Virginia lawmaker Derek Evans, videotaped leading some of the mobs breaking into the Capitol. The attack led to the deaths of five people, including Capitol Police Officer Brian Sicknick. Flags have been lowered at half staff. A failure of historical uh, proportion. And quite frankly, those Capitol Police officers really deserved much better uh, planning and response from their own leadership cadre. And, and it's just a, it's a black eye on, on all of us as Americans. The threat to Washington may not be over. In the mob storming the Capitol, investigators say there were armed white supremacists and anti-government militias. There are celebrations online. According to the Anti-Defamation League, some of the posts include threats to the inauguration. Trump will be sworn in for a second term on January 20th. Round two on January 20th, this time no mercy. I'm going and I'll be armed this time. This wasn't a riot, it was an attack. This wasn't spontaneous, it was coordinated. And we need to now reckon with the consequences. Jeff Begays, CBS News, Washington.